For those of you who have not visited the V&A, it's an extraordinary experience. You can find yourself in a gallery full of rather beautiful glass, then in a fashion gallery, then in an architectural gallery, then in a design gallery. You can find yourself in the Chinese section and then wander into the Iranian section. So it's an extraordinary rich and in the very best sense bewildering experience to be inside the V&A and Martin joined the V&A relatively recently from Germany so he brings two wonderful perspectives to this as well as knowing China well and having been central to several exhibitions that have come here. I want to begin if I can Martin by simply saying that China design now in 2008 was a very early example of Chinese design being showcased in Europe. What do you think will be the V&A's continuing interest in China? Phil, the V&A was from the beginning, from mid-19th century till today, always interested in history, but also the contemporary making, the creative part of different societies around the globe. And so there's a major interest in China. I mean, it, there was always a major interest in China. So it's just, uh, how to say that, part of the v &A concept, the v &A program, the v &A idea. And showcasing um, the creative industries in China right now, is, I think it's extremely important with all those changes, economical changes, political changes, changes of taste and design and so on. So we will continue with this dialogue. Neil McGregor used the notion that porcelain is a language. Uh, I, like, I really like that. And uh, if we continue with this conversation and dialogue in objects, the v is part of it. As China does move, as you said, from made in China to created in China, uh, the museums will begin to play a more, in, more important role uh, in showcasing creativity to young to the kind of young people who make up at least part of this audience. What do you think is the role of a museum in relationship to the creative industries of any country? With the change of the economy in Europe and the declining economy, there's more and more an interest in the museum as, and the collections as part of our identity. 